Welcome to Fox TV News, where everything is true. Mason accused of stabbing man to death during dispute at bar. A 43-year-old Mason was slapped with murder charges following the stabbing death of a man during a dispute at a bar in Stonehill, St. Andrew last month. Charge is Mark Barrett of Erie Castle Road, Stonehill in the parish. Dead is 34-year-old Brian Morris, a teller of the Golden Spring Community in Stonehill, St. Andrew. Reports from the police are that about 11.45 p.m., Bart and Mars were at a bar when a dispute developed between them. During the altercations, Morris was stabbed multiple times. Morris ran from the bar and collapsed along the roadway. The police were alerted and upon their arrival, Mars was seen lying on the ground in blood. He was transported to hospital where he later died. On Tuesday, September 5th, Bart was taken into custody, interviewed and later charged. Man accused of shooting woman in Tivoli Gardens charge. A man has been charged after he allegedly shot a woman in her torso in his community in Tivoli Gardens, Kingston, last month. Charged with shooting with intent, possession of a prohibited weapon, unauthorized possession of ammunition, and making use of a firearm to commit a felony, is 36-year-old Desbert Bogle, otherwise called Marvin, of Jaker's Place, Tivoli Gardens in the parish. Reports are that about 1 a.m., an explosion was heard coming from a woman's house. The police were summoned and the woman was seen inside a room with a gunshot wound to her torso. She was taken to hospital where she was admitted in critical condition. On Monday, September 11, Bogo turned himself in to the police. He was charged on Wednesday, September 13, after a question and answer session. St. James Woman Charged with Murder a 42-year-old woman has been charged after she reportedly stabbed a man to death during an altercation in St. James on Monday. Charge is Sharon Thompson, otherwise called Tanisha, of Farm Heights, Montego Bay in the parish. Dead is 32-year-old Dominic Poizel, otherwise called White Guy, of Rind Park, also in St. James. Reports from the Montego Bay police are that about 7.15 a.m., both persons had a dispute when a knife was used to inflict stab wounds to Purcell's upper body. He was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Thompson was arrested and subsequently charged. St. Catherine records 138 dengue cases, three deaths. The health authorities in St. Catherine are on high alert after 138 cases of dengue fever and three related deaths were recorded in the parish since the start of the year. The figure was revealed by Deputy Public Health Inspector Melva Parker at Thursday's monthly meeting of the St. Catherine Municipal Corporation. To date, from the beginning of the year, there are 138 cases of dengue fever. Three deaths, all adults, two males and one female, she informed. Parker said the department has engaged an additional 50 persons to help with a public education campaign throughout the parish. We have also examined 52 drains 27 of which are breeding sites, the team, or the affected drains in addition to fogging, Parker stated. Chairman of the Municipal Corporation, Norman Scott, said members fully support the fight against the mosquito-borne illness. It was also revealed that two councils were absent from the sitting as they had contracted dengue fever. Pistol seized during raid targeting alleged gang member in Spanish Town. A firearm and 13 rounds of ammunition were seized during an operation targeting an alleged gang member on Valdez Road in Spanish Town, St. Catherine, on Thursday morning. No arrest was made in connection with the seizure. Reports are that about 8.30 a.m., members of the Joint anti gang Task Force searched a premises during a raid targeting an alleged gang member. One Smith and Weston 9mm pistol and 13 9mm cartridges were found among items of clothing. Investigations are ongoing. Lifeline for Mayor Moore Even after two independent councillors of the Westmoreland Municipal Corporation joined the Jamaica Labour Party's side on the floor on Thursday, embattled Mayor of Savannah Lamar, Bertel Moore, managed to hold on to his position, and he appears to have found an unlikely ally for the future battles. Councillor Leighton McKenzie who walked away from the People's National Party alongside Garfield James and Ian Miles in July to become independent representatives, did not cross the floor with them on Thursday. 
he has thrown his full support behind Moore, and while he remains an independent for now, he has not written off a return to the PNP. Mackenzie's role is vital, as the JLP now has six seats and the PNP has five. After Thursday's stormy meeting, he told reporters that his leanings are generally towards the PNP, on whose ticket he came to power in 2016. He was firm in his assertion that he will never join the JLP. I have no intention of going anywhere, Mackenzie said, when asked about the possible future for the ruling party. In fact, he said he has beseeched his former comrades not to cross the floor. I spoke to them and told them that I will not go any further, not even an inch further in the direction that they are going, Mackenzie told reporters. His vote on matters that comes before the corporation in the future, he said, will be determined by what is best for the residents of the parish. Mackenzie also made it clear that he will not be a party to any move on Seatmore as mayor. They cannot remove the mayor under the way they are doing it and I will be ensuring that it does not happen, he told reporters. A no confidence vote has been expected on Thursday but the meeting ended prematurely after a dust up between Moore and James. James was on the floor and Moore told him to sit. James refused, arguing that Moore should apologize for earlier calling him crazy. With both men on the floor, Mayor Moore ended the meeting before the completion of the resolution of no confidence against him, which was being read ahead of their table. Moore has deployed some cheap politics into his approach to prevent the council's business from taking place, James told reporters, after the meeting ended. He vowed that steps will be taken in the coming days to address what happened on Thursday. Whatever those plans, Mackenzie is adamant that the corporation's focus needs to be on serving the people who elected them all. Everybody needs to go back to their division and work to try and get back another term, he told reporters. According to Councillor Miles, he and James will continue to serve their respective decisions with distinction as they did when they were members of the PNP. He said the JLP had welcomed them both with open arms. While he admitted that he had lost some support after walking away from the PNP, he claimed to have gained some as well. He told reporters that he has been the backing of most of the people in Little London Division. Persons have already been stating their position that wherever I go and whatever I do, that's where they will be. It just shows the kind of leadership, a seriousness of purpose that has transparency and has no animosity, but one that is genuine in nature for the individuals. This is what I am about, service above self, stated Miles. This all began when Miles, James and Mackenzie, striding in opposition of the PNP, decided to allow Vice President Ian Hills to position himself as the constituency caretaker. In late July, Miles was voted in as Deputy Mayor of Savannah Lamar after then independent councillors and the JLP joined forces to push that through. However, the PNP fell a court injunction and the issue remains unresolved. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, and click the notification.